Hey, what's going on, everybody? Exhausted Gamer here. Um, I'm here to bring you just my initial thoughts on the PS4 and how things have been so far up to this point. Um, as you know, it, it's been out for a good solid week now. I've had time to sit, sit down and actually dig into the games and play and find out the features of the console. And there's a couple of things I want to talk about. First, we're going to talk about the dashboard. I like what they, how they changed up the dashboard. They really just gave themselves, a, Sony really gave themselves a fresh start to, to revamping, you know, the user experience on their system. A lot of people, I really wasn't a fan of the XMD cross media dashboard, but it, it, it was to each his own. But Sony have now given themselves plenty, plenty of playroom to do whatever they want, really, with that, with the uh, dashboard. Um, and I and I found that the more that I've used the dashboard, it has become more intuitive. So is it, when you're really when you're gaming and you need to like actually hop out and add somebody's friend request or you know accept a message or check a notification, it's really quick and it's really snappy. So I, I really like how they implemented that. And as you use it more in the game, as you become become more familiar with it. You, you understand what I'm saying that you know it's real intuitive and and I saw I, I think I see what Sony is going for there so I'm anxious to see what I'm anxious to see what features they will add next to add next to the uh, cons for the console dashboard all right um I picked up like eight games so you know the games you know it's, it's a launch day it's launch day everybody is expecting triple-a titles out the gate and stuff like that and if it would have been triple-a titles out the gate such as Watch Dogs, drive club infamous those games wouldn't would have not been ready not one they wouldn't have been ready and then we'd have been sitting here crying about having an incomplete product so you see what's going on with uh Call of Duty Ghost and Battlefield 4 with those games not the servers not running right well. Call of Duty they they fixed a lot of stuff in the patch from last week so all that that is all good there but on for for the Battlefield side, EA and what they've been doing and just pushing out pushing out games. Yeah, Battlefield has been suffering and losing a lot of people over because they just because they haven't completed the game like they should have. All right, um, I want to move on to the controller. I really find myself, I really like this. I really like this controller. It, you can sit and play for long, you know, a long time without even, you know, having to take a break. It does not. The, the thumbsticks are pretty good. You know, just the overall feel of the controller is great. The only gripe I have is going to be about the battery life. The battery life on the, this controller really isn't that great. It'll last you a good six to eight hours, depending on how much you play. So I recommend going into your settings and set your controller to turn off 10 minutes after 10 minutes of uh, inactivity, because that'll save your battery. That'll save you some battery on your controller as well, especially if you only have one controller. So that's that's gonna be big, but I have two controllers, so I just take one off the charging station and put another one on and just keep it moving. But some of us don't have that, so I recommend doing that as well. But I, I'm really I'm really pleased with the triggers and how the triggers for the controller feel. They real they real responsive, and I feel like I'm getting it. There's you know, getting great feedback from them. So the vibration, the speaker, you know, everything about this controller is great. It's nice to look. it's a couple of tricks you can do with it too. You can also have the game audio come out of the controller with a headset that you have plugged in. So that's that's pretty neat if you want to sit there and you want a game and you just want to listen. Of course, it's not going to be surround sound. It's going to be a stereo sound, but you get you, you get the point with that. It's, that's a pretty good feature to have. Um, the camera, uh, the camera is pretty cool. You know, Sony did a good thing by not including in including it into the bundle because you really at in the beginning you're not really gonna need the camera only only time you're really gonna need the camera is for if you're playing something like you know you're using twitch you stream a lot and you're doing a lot of video videos and stuff like that on there but other than that there, there really isn't a use for you know a use for a camera right now in any of these games 
Um, the 1.5 update, it brought a lot of fixes and stuff like that to the console, which when I first got my system, with just one, the 1.51 1 1 update, I'm sorry. When I first got my console, it was... It, it would freeze sometime and everything like that, and that was even after I changed out the hard drive. But after they pushed out the 1.51 1 update, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So that's that's always a great sign there when they fixing fixing things, you know, with ease and fixing it pretty fast. So that that went great. But um, I I switched out my hard drive in my system, as y'all many of y'all may have seen my video. And it's the games load faster, everything it runs smooth, no no problem whatsoever. And the game actually, the system actually runs quieter and smoother and no heat whatsoever. Only time the game really kicks in, the fan really kick in, if I if I'm if I pause a game and I go back out to the dashboard, it a, the game that you hear the CD. The CD uh, starts spinning up, and then it'll start, you'll hear the fans start kicking in. So that's pretty much the only thing with that. And you're gonna, that's going to happen because the system is trying to hold your place, basically, in that, in that actual game. So should you install a new hard drive, I highly recommend it. And I recommend an SSD hybrid. Don't go out there buying a straight SSD because it's really, it's really not worth it. And... The SSD hybrid will help, and you know, you, you keep a lookout for the two terabyte SSD hybrids that might be coming out soon. I know Samsung is making one, so just keep a, keep an eye out for that. So, but yeah, I, I've been really enjoying my system over the past week, and I've, I've played all kinds of games, and I, I took I actually took Injustice back yesterday because I really. I really wasn't impressed with that game by any means. It was a great game. It looks good and it played okay, but that really wasn't something I liked about it. But as you can see right here in this video, I'm playing Killzone. This game is, I don't, for it to get the reviews it got, I don't understand how it got those reviews because that game, this game is pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I die here a couple of times, but you know, I really like the way they took advantage took took advantage of the technology they had for this game and it really shows even with the online gameplay this is probably one of the more solid games at launch right now for the PlayStation so if you have a problem with Battlefield and Call of Duty is okay but this is really one of the most solid games we have right now so I think the PlayStation Sony has set up themselves to basically future proof themselves and they're gonna, we're gonna see a, a lot of nice things coming soon. So, you all, it's been Exhausted Gamer. Hope you enjoyed my little voiceover real quick. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment section below. Remember, rate, like, comment, subscribe. Exhausted Gamer out. Peace.